arguably one of the best vegan chocolates available. So we're going to go hand them out to people and see what they think about veganism generally. No breast milk, because like, I was just talking to him about why he still breastfeeds as a full-grown adult. <laughs> so I've got these. These are Vigo bars, right? I want you to try to analyse what's different about that Vigo bar. What's different to a usual chocolate bar about it? Well, it's called Vigo for start off, so it suggests that there's no animal fats in it. So milk, let's talk about it. <clears throat> what is it. When you see a carton of milk, what do you see? Um, what do I see? Yeah. Well, I sort of think about the cows it's come from, I suppose. You do? Yeah, yeah. Interesting. What's the image that comes to your mind when you think of a, an English, you know, country cow? Um, they've got a big field to graze in, oh. hopefully. <clears throat> and um, you know, just the milk's like a byproduct of, of what they do. Wow! I'm gonna test your knowledge on the dairy industry here. Yeah. <laughs> no. Do you know the process? Um, not really. No, no. Yeah. Interesting. We don't think of it. You know what I used to think? Can I? Do, I used to think cows just ate grass and they produced milk. Is that what you're under the impression of? Yeah, but I don't know if they feed them extra things now to up the production. Wow. With the milk, you know, there must be some other ingredients that they put in their diet. So you think cows just naturally produce milk? They don't have to intervene in any way? Um, yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Why do humans produce milk? Um, well, it's to feed the babies. It's mainly to feed, feed the babies, so presumably okay. cows do the same. Yeah. So if we're going to mass produce, uh, say, breast milk, how would we do it? Uh, Um, well, I know it's, it's quite intensive farming, probably. You know, yeah. they've got these machines that go on the udders yeah. and pump away. So yeah, it's quite do. quite an unnatural process. You know, cows have to be pregnant to produce milk. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 So they have to impregnate them somehow. Right, I mean, you'd like to think it's done naturally. But vegans are called weird. Yeah. <laughs> So what we do is we, we grab a bunch of cows and we forcibly impregnate them, don't we? And then they sort of bear a calf. Yeah, and they start lactating and whatever. And yeah. um, that's so what, a bit of production of milk, I suppose, yeah. What, what do you think happens to the calves? Um, do they get fed artificially, maybe? So Because obviously the more milk they get off their mum, <clears throat> the less milk there is for the dairy farmer. For the dairy industry, yeah. So well, they need it. money, don't they? Well, that's it, yeah. So I know a lot of the dairy farmers are going out of business, you know, because yeah. Uh, yeah, the price of milk is not that expensive. Yeah. And the amount they have to produce, you know. So, I don't know, in some way I've got sympathy for them, you know, because yeah. they do have to make some sort of money. They do, they do. Have you seen uh, cow pining for their young before? Um, I haven't really, no. Yeah. no you could imagine a either. cow uh, being maternal, like animals maternal to their young, yeah? Oh, sure, yeah, that's it, yeah. yeah. And uh, presumably they're... Um, separated from the young when the milking process is going on, you know. That's what you said about the whining. It's called pining, yeah. Pining, whining, yeah. yeah have it's you ever seen calves in those little pens away from... Oh, I've seen some on TV, yeah, yeah, yeah. not personally, you know. Yeah. Does that look right to you? <laughs> God, no. In the dairy industry in England, they, they follow the same process nearly worldwide, so they impregnate the car cows, they, they separate the calves once they're born, and then the cycle repeat, repeats over and over. So with the male calves, mm -hmm. can you, you... Well, they don't produce milk, do they? Yeah, of course. No, no. <laughs> so what do they do with them? Um, are they just fattened up for food, uh, for the beef industry then? Yeah, they can be. They can be. You know, but it seems quite a sad life, doesn't it? Because they're separated from their mum and, yeah. you know, and it's all about, well, I suppose it's all about profit and when it yeah. comes down to it, you know, rather than uh, having, giving them a good sort of way of life. If they were humans, what would we call that? Uh, slave trafficking, all yeah. sorts, you know, yeah. all sorts of nasty sort of words that you wouldn't use normally, yeah. 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 So we'd call that basically enslavement, wouldn't we? Oh, yeah. definitely. Yeah, Exploitation sure. would come to mind? Oh, that's it, yeah, certainly with the young, you know, they're yeah. sort of, they're fat and they're, I don't know, they're sort of neglecting their, their upbringing and everything, yeah. yeah. Sticking tubes in them to inseminate them with bull semen and... Oh, God, yeah. And they harvest the bull semen from the bull somehow, you know how they do that. Uh, it's probably a machine yeah, for it, or, not, or not, the, not a hand. bloke. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, what about, well, let's just talk about the dairy cow. What do you think happens to them when their milk production declines? And I assume they're probably slaughtered if they're sort of not 
not much use to the farmer, then yeah. it's like let's sort of just chop them up for meat. Yeah. So it's maternal trauma. They're losing their children. They're being exploited sexually, and then they're. Mm. When their milk production declines, they are sent to the slaughterhouse and killed. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Do you think taste would justify enslavement and sexual exploitation and murder of these animals? No, no, because I think, yeah, they've got sort of ways of actually reproducing that and, you know, getting some sort of way of getting the same um, sugar kick and everything. Yeah. We can mimic yeah, the same flavours without the violence and all of that other stuff, weird stuff that goes with it, yeah? Well, hopefully, yeah, that's yeah. it, yeah. I mean, I do try and be vegan or vegetarian every Monday. Oh, really? That's my one little thing. And I'm trying to stay off the chocolate, to be honest, as well. Oh, wow. So I'm trying to cut back on that, you know. So it's uh, interesting. <clears throat> it's interesting how, you know, would, would you, do you think, like, having a Monday off of the violence would be as good as just being anti-violence? <clears throat> no, it always feels a bit bad, actually, you know. Yeah. I'm just sort of vegan for a day, you know, and then sod it, you know. The rest I'm against time. animal cruelty today. Yeah, <laughs> the it, other yeah. six, six days of the week, I'm... <laughs> chicken tomorrow, yeah. yeah but yeah. to be honest, I don't eat a lot of beef either. So I feel a bit better on that. But I, I like my milk. <laughs> when did you stop breastfeeding? Um, I can't remember. It's six, you know, 62 years ago, probably, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure we did, actually, because I know... Well, well you're still drinking from a cow, aren't you? <laughs> so you, let, you, you technically mm -hmm. haven't. Well, that's a good point, actually, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it's, it's coming from the breast. really guilty now, yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Well, I don't want to motivate you by guilt, but you could be motivated by maybe empathy? Oh, definitely, yeah, sure, yeah. That it's sounds more positive, just, doesn't it? Yeah, it makes you just think about the process as well, yeah. you know. So, we've got 66 million people here in the UK. What would happen if individuals like you, 66 million of those individuals, stopped buying dairy products? Um, what would happen to the dairy industry? Well, I mean, that collapse, obviously, you know, because there's no way... I mean, they'd probably have to go into just the meat industry or something instead. Well, 50% of the, the, the beef in this country comes from the dairy industry, so they do support each other. But what if we all went vegan? What would happen to these industries that kill animals? And they'd have to start growing something else, you know, maybe sort of more healthy stuff as well, you know. Yeah, maybe something out of plants, you know. That's it, yeah, and they keep sort of saying you shouldn't, shouldn't eat meat because it's not... Well, it's not good for the environment as well, as well as the um, impact on the animals. Yeah, and health as well. Have you heard anything about the health side of it? Oh, sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, Do you think yeah. you'd feel differently about eating dairy? Like if you saw an animal be slashed across the throat every time you purchased it? Like... Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, because I know these things happen, you know. But, uh, it's yeah. something that doesn't get filmed, I assume. No. Yeah, would, yeah, I've, I've, I've got your footage. I've got really, your footage yeah. right here. This is um, all yeah, I'm current. Yeah, that they don't like people to go into. No, no, no. An this is activists and get actually filming it. Activists get this footage oh, see, yeah. without permission to expose yeah. what goes on here. Oh, this yeah. is land of hope and glory. This is all lo uh, UK current footage yeah. of abattoirs and farms. And that's oh, for you. Okay, cheers. Yeah, you can you check that out? Uh -huh. And on the back. Oh, the dairy is scary. I've seen that. You've one. seen it? I think someone's been stenciling you it. You haven't on the watched. Floor. You haven't watched Dairy is Scary. I haven't watched it, but I've I've seen it around here. Actually, people are sort of stenciling the the logo. I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, shit, yeah. I'll just I'll go. show you dairy is I'll scary. Just, just eating that shit. Well. Did, <laughs> did you eat dairy? I might need that bag. Oh yeah, I'll give you the bag. <laughs> Wait, have you? Let's let's watch it right now. A routine process. You see, first the industry jacks off a bunch of bulls. I mean, how do you explain that to your mates and they say, what do you do for a living, you know? Yeah. Stick my well, hand up cows. You could say, I... In a, in a you're, well, vaping cows every day, yeah. Well, he's only doing that for a living to give us dairy, <laughs> humans dairy. Gosh, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not great, is it? <laughs> so humans are paying him to do that for them. Well, of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. Milk for cow CMA, have you heard that before? Oh, definitely, yeah, it's good for your teeth, isn't it? Yeah. Good for your bones. Yeah. Bank, they don't show you the uh, other stuff, do they? No, no. no. Yeah. So you would have cut, grown up in the era where they were making you drink milk in school, yeah? It's like, you know, everyone has to drink milk, you know, even if you didn't like it. <laughs> yeah. They made it a requirement. That's oh, how much power yeah. the dairy industry's got. Oh, shit, yeah. It's crazy how much power they have. And you only ever see uh, cows grassing on these pastures, uh, uh, roaming on these pastures oh, that's it. in it's the picture. The nice, yeah, it's the nice side of it, isn't it? Humane. You know, they look happy. They look happy. They've got a big field to roam in. Eat as much grass as you want. Yeah. Humane dairy, have you heard, you heard of that? See it, yeah, but you never see it behind the scenes, do you, until that, you know. Do you think UK's any better? I don't think they are, to be honest, no. They, I think they, they trick, they, they've got the trickery, don't they? <clears throat> oh, that's it, yeah. They know exactly what they can show and what they can't and, uh, you know, say things like that. Do you feel a little bit different about what's in a, potentially in a chocolate bar now? 
Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah it sort of make you think about it more. But uh, you know, that's dairy free. <clears throat> this is no, a vegan. Sure, yeah. This that's is a vegan chocolate bar. Vegan. It's not going to have yeah. all the usual um, the goodies that you get in normal chocolate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, now you know more yeah. about the dairy industry than 95% of the population. So, yeah. how does that feel? Oh, it's good. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna, try, well, I'm gonna try the other sort of milks again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because usually it's just in tea anyway. You know, so it doesn't. It's just the try the Oatly Barista. Which one? Oatly Barista. Yeah. So it's like it's in a grey bottle. It's called Oatly. Oh, I've seen adverts for that as well. Yeah, but yeah, not yeah, tried it's it. Yeah. Milk for but for humans. Yeah. And it's all plant based. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that, bro. Right. No <laughs> I appreciate yeah. that. If you want to see this, um, well, get the, keep the chocolates on. Yeah, of course, yeah, man. That's for you. Just, it's probably melted by. <laughs> That's my channel anyway. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Good yeah. yeah. I appreciate that conversation. Thank yeah, you so no much. Problem, yeah. Take care. You're doing a good job, yeah. Yeah, Tar. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent work. So yeah, I hope the people like the chocolate bars and have learnt a little bit about the dairy industry in the process. And you're not a baby cow, bro. Let's do it. <laughs>